Jesus went down to Capernaum, a town of Galilee. He taught them on the Sabbath, and they were astonished at his teaching because he spoke with authority. In the synagogue, there was a man with a spirit of unclean demon, and he cried out in a loud voice, What have you to do with us, Jesus of Nazareth? Have you come to destroy us? I know who you are, the Holy One of God. Jesus rebuked him and said, Be quiet, come out of him. Then the demon threw the man down in front of them and came out of him without doing him any harm. They were all amazed and said to one another, What is there about this his word? For with authority the power and power he commands the unclean spirits and they come out. And use of him spread everywhere in the surrounding region. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. All illness are caused by evil spirits. All illness. And that was the belief in the olden days during the time of our Lord Jesus Christ. That whenever we are sick, it is because an evil spirit has entered us and possessed us. And the evil spirits are just found in the air so we can absorb it. And how are we possessed by the spirit, by this evil spirit? When we begin to listen to it, see its beauty, of course, apparent beauty, and then obey it, then we are possessed. When we recognize its authority over us. That is why sometimes God is defined as uh, something as the one whom we obey. Whomever we obey is our God. Uh, that's why now we are to examine ourselves what are our convictions in life? Whom do we really follow? Because whomever we obey is our God. That's why people who have these addictions, yeah, they know what is right and what is wrong. And they would like to do what is good, but ended up doing what is evil. Why? Because they are possessed. Or sometimes when we have it, we are possessed. And we listen to it. And that is why this evil spirit is our God. He has his authority over us. That is why our Lord Jesus Christ one time said, Not all those who call me Lord, Lord will enter the kingdom of heaven, but only those who do the will of the Father. Because one proof that really... We obey God is when we do His will. But the moment we do somebody's uh, will, then, other than God, of course, then we are not obedient to God. The question now is, <clears throat> how are we to prevent ourselves from being possessed by the devil? How are we to resist the temptation? You know, temptation is called temptation because it is tempting, it is alluring, it is interesting, it is attractive. That is why in Vita Consecrata, vocation is, has uh, evolved into another term. Because vocation normally, yeah, something that we hear, voco, vocare, we, we hear, we listen to. There is now another word which is questionable in itself because its implication is quite wordly. The word is seduction. Let us allow ourselves to be seduced. Now, of course, seduction not to something that is evil, but something that is good. You know, things we hear is 25 times less than things we see according to study. 
how true, yeah, we have to verify it. But sometimes, yeah, that happens when somebody is introduced to us. What's your name? Catherine. Oh, okay, Catherine. Then after some time, a month perhaps, you meet the person again. You know the person. I know, I, I met her before, but what is his, her name? You forget because you only saw her once, but you remember because things that we see are stronger than things we hear. That's why if you would like to remember the name, you have to repeat it 25 times. Oh, your name is Catherine. How do you spell it? Oh, Catherine. Oh, yeah, see you, Catherine. So you have to keep on repeating it 25 times so that the next time you meet, you remember, Oh, Catherine. So the invitation for us today is to see God, to see His beauty, to be possessed by God, to be drawn to Him. Then we give a contest to being possessed by the devil because the devil would really present itself to us in a very beautiful way, in a very good way, apparently. Then we are tempted. Then we are seduced. Then we are duped. Of course, the option now is how. How are we to see God? That is why the invitation, the final invitation, is for us to con constantly pray and contemplate. The moment we spend time simply listening to worldly things, to negative things, to desperate things, and only be distracted by the problems of this world with death, with corruption, then we allow these things to control us, to possess us. But if in the midst of these problems and difficulties in life, we try to see beauty, goodness, purpose, meaning, then we can allow the good spirit to possess, possess us. Just like the Blessed Mother looking at the sun hanging on the cross, she did not despair because her gaze goes beyond the destruction, the death, the hopelessness. Her sight goes beyond, deep into God's purpose. So that's the invitation for us today. To see beauty where there is ugliness. And to see meaning and purpose in the midst of hopelessness. If we do, then we are truly called and seduced by the Lord not by the evil spirits. Amen.